experience. We ended up uh, being in a freshman dorm and the first two floors was the Du Bois College House, which was where the African-American students who wanted to live together in a house community lived on the first two floors. John, of course, would interact with everybody. That was the thing that attracted me most to him. He felt, he felt so different. And I wanted to emulate that because he was so open to learning about people that weren't like him. John joined uh, AFOS, which is a historic African-American fraternity, AFIA. Dr. King was a member of that uh, fraternity. And I was blown away when he went to find out that he's an Alpha. All right? uh, I was blown away to discover that in college he joined the Black Gospel Choir. I couldn't believe it. He's comfortable in his own skin. John has the unique gift of flowing amongst people of different ethnicities, people of different social classes, um, and I believe that he has been intentional in doing that. Every time we have seen him in the paper recently, the quote about him is, wealthy businessman John Kingston. It seems like that's the tagline that is what you have to say before his name. And it couldn't be further from the truth. His dad was a retired military guy. He was a middle school math teacher's entire career, and his mom stayed at home. They had just enough. He was fortunate enough to go to the University of Pennsylvania, but it was on a lot of student loans and um, some financial aid. The John that I know is not the born with a silver spoon in your mouth, a uh, super wealthy guy who, you know, is removed and disconnected from the hurts and the pains of real life people. He has real relationships with people across race and across class. He's inside of their lives. He treats everybody as though they are all children of God, all worthy of the highest degree of respect. All have tremendous dignity. I think he'd be a terrific candidate. And the way I think about it isn't about his political insights or, or what his particular position is on uh, any number of political topics. I think about it from who he is as a person, you know, who is, what his character is all about, what his values stand for. I think that John um, is someone who can work across party lines. He's always been a person of action who can get things done. He will bring a level of civility to Washington um, and restore something that I feel is lost, and that is both parties are there to serve the people. He's always trying to get people together to meet each other and to see ways that they can connect and go off beyond him. He's not a self-promoter. Um, but he promotes the people around him and he promotes our country and that's the kind of leader that, that I want to have. Never written about in the papers, never showed up on the TV, very quietly, not even in the footnote. He wasn't trying to build a resume to run. He didn't, he had no idea he was going to be running for senator. He was just being John Kingston. He is a leader of integrity. He's honest. I believe he is the man for such a time as this. It's become very clear to me that we do not know how many days we were given. And there is that question as, what do you want to do with your life? How do you want to make an impact? Don't be afraid and go for it, right? And I see John going for it all the time. And I'm going to go for it with him.